hello everybody welcome to Val video today we are going to be uh, you know doing some mini games obviously to start it out while i talk about what we're gonna be doing today's episode we're gonna be against a tough opponent in the indianapolis colts it's an interdivision matchup we're gonna have a tough week today but i'm just gonna go ahead and do the rushing attack since i've been told to do so so we'll go ahead and do this and i forgot to be diving into the end zone so i'm pretty sure you get a pretty big boost for that so we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish this up and i might do this like every week you know might not record it all and then i might change the speed threshold sees al shire just isn't there on that play but yeah i'll finish this up i'll let you guys know if i do one with will levi's we'll see this one's coming down to it i don't know if i don't get gold here oh we got gold all right we'll go ahead and try this one here so there's one two targets i'm good off the rip you don't even got it you ain't like what, what are you doing you already know i was gonna be good at this go ahead and try to line it up here boom i'm 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 goaded that's what it, it really comes down to that let's be for real. oh i missed the targets two times in a row trying to light it up we'll just go with the silver i don't know if that's worth it it gets tougher as time goes on the targets get a little spread out it gets a little bit more methodical and i'm not the methodicalist man you'll ever meet so i just moved the quarter length down to nine minutes i believe and here's the minimum player speed threshold i don't exactly know how this works but i saw someone turn it down so i'm gonna do the same i'm gonna turn it down go with 45 and uh, i'm also going to do something Thing that's a little interesting i gotta find it so formation subs so which players come in and what formations i'm gonna put ty j spears in the backfield a little more often uh I accidentally backed out of the formation subs but will levis has a upgrade i like improviser a lot i think it just does everything that you know will levis needs and he's up to a 70 overall playing with negative one morale i want to see his ratings here so accuracy is down a little bit throw on the run and under pressure are good but we need break sack to go up probably at one point but his accuracy is probably what we actually need to work on a little bit more than uh improviser archetypes so probably field general let's go back to formation subs and i'll do this so if you guys don't know how this works you guys can kind of just go down the formations here on offense and look for whatever running backs a part of this set and like right here see how number Number 32 is on the line number 32 would end up being our running back so i'm gonna go shuffle my way over to ty j i'd rather have derrick henry on a blocking play like this play and you kind of can just do that i don't want derrick henry in this right here i'd rather have my friend ty j spears in a more in this sort of role and now for single back most of these will be derrick henry until i find maybe one i'd rather have ty j spears and it would probably be more of a spread out offense is where i'd want him so i saw one play that i would probably want him on it's like one of these up here i can't remember which one it was but there's one of these that was a little bit more spread out i think this one right here so i'll put ty j spears in at single back and then you can use your left trigger to go through all these but strong eye definitely both be derrick henry weak eye you, you guys get the idea and i don't know if you guys heard me or watched last episode but if you guys didn't go make sure to go watch that but in that video i mentioned that i might be buying a new gpu just to help out with this sort of thing because sometimes the game like lags or hitches or just delays and has like its own little little moment all right and it has that ever here and there like i'm sure if i hold the skip we're gonna get this right here this is sort of stuttering if you will and it just pisses me off like overall i pay a lot of money for my computer for it not to be running a game like this it's just not ridiculous it's so annoying it's just it's just a pain in my ass to think about and it'll be gardner Minshew leading the indianapolis colts out onto the field 59 of 90 this year with 702 yards anthony richardson might be a little injured or i don't know maybe just straight up got sidelined they weren't happy with what they saw and why am i seeing neiman in at middle linebacker that's not very good and jeffrey simmons that's a very good start for him and now we have campbell back i hate neiman he has like 80 speed it is just simply not good and we had some pressure on the inside there roger mccurry just lets up some yards to michael pittman jr from the slot i believe so michael pittman jr on a good reception up the middle of the field for a few yards we're gonna have to do better on defense sees al shire will have monitoring the middle of this field Jonathan Taylor will cut back and get a positive gain of four. Ball start on the offense. It'll be... Oh, is that Bernard Ryman? Who is that? Which one is that one? Number 79. It looks like Bernard Ryman. This play is off and going. And our cornerback, Sean Murphy Bunting, uh, <laughs> lost our or his responsibility, aka the receiver. And that would have uh, let up a key first down. But luckily, it is third and 11 to start this one. We got to get out here towards the screen, trying to catch it with 
Campbell. Oh my lord, we got a shifty receiver. I think that is Isaiah McKenzie. It is trying to shuffle up and trying to get uh some first down yardage. Tennessee offense led by this man right here, Ryan Tannehill. 51 of 101, 682 yards, and uh, I think five touchdowns to six uh interceptions. Has not been great uh as a late. We'll definitely say that pretty confidently. And we are down at the eight. So we got a lot to uh to work off here, but this one to Traylon Burks in his first play back on the season. And that is a very, very positive gain for Mr. Traylon Burks down the field. It is nice to have him come in along with the rest of the team now on these trips. Uh, we're away, obviously, here at the Indianapolis Colts facility. Not facility. Field. Ford Field, I believe, right? Lucas Oil? Lucas Oil. I can't help but notice how open... We have a DeAndre Hopkins up the middle of the field. So we will happily take that. Tannehill starts two of two for 66 yards or something like that. Now we have a fun little wide receiver screen that's going to work to the outside. We get Kyle Phillips in space. He's going to juke number 33. Is that Ronnie McLeod out? And he's going to move up the field. We have ourselves a little drive going. And Tannehill is trying to prove that he's the guy. Do not bring in the young guys behind him Malik Willis and Will Levis are obviously trying to take his job at some point and we cannot have that it is Josh Wiley on the reception trying to push up the field gets to the four so not only have we had a successful drive through the air we're gonna punch it in on our legs it'll be Ty J Spears with his maybe first touchdown on the season uh, I can't really remember. And it'll be the Indianapolis Colts looking for an open receiver. It'll be Sean Murphy bunting, letting that one up. And my user right now sucks. I suck on user. Gardner Minshew starting this one off pretty good. It'll be Aziz Alshair trying to single-handedly stop Jonathan Taylor and does behind the line. Jonathan Taylor so far has been minimized. Min wow, that's a word. I'm going to knock on wood there just to... Uh, Make sure we don't get jinxed, but minimized. Uh, not minimum, minimized, minimized. You know, like that's just not a word. And back towards the middle of the field, we just can't trust Ch uh, Chance, I believe. Chance Campbell, I can't remember, but to, to monitor the middle of the field that that intensely, all right? We can't let him have that much wiggle room. We can't move too far to one side. We can't overcommit. We have to be pretty much flawless with Aziz Al Shire until we get that, that next guy. But okay, Michael Pittman will just pivot up the field. What the fuck are you diving at? Kevin Byard misses by like 20 yards, dude. So far, we've had a really good day, and we'll look for that to continue as Trayvon Wesco will try to get up the field. Just beats Darius Leonard on that one. And then we'll try to just use Derrick Henry's legs on this one. DeForest Buckner making an unreal play. And we still don't have abilities on the field, which is very much a bummer. And like I said, we want more reps to Tajay. We need Tajay, Tajay, Tajay. We're trying to get him to be a little bit better in this offense. And Aaron Brewer making a great effort to push his running back up the field. Travon Wesco, the tight end, goes down. And DeForest Buckner is going to meet us right there in the backfield. He has inside stuff. One of the reasons that I've actually alluded to the pass instead of the run so far. And we saw a great play out of Traylon Burks. And let's go ahead and see if we can see it again. I'll put Phillips on a slant so we have something at least underneath. But it does look like we should have a good go at Traylon Burks down the field, beating a pretty poor secondary so far. They haven't been great. They haven't looked like the team to beat in this one. Tennessee Titans so far doing what they need to do. That is two receptions for close to 79 yards. Get that one out in space to Ty J and just hope he can get up the field for some sort of yardage. This one will go underneath to Shaka Conquo. We'll miss him. That'll be the first incompletion of the game for Ryan Tannehill and Julius Brents acting like he goddamn saved the game in the fourth quarter on the last play. He definitely did not just do that. Uh, we'll put Burks on a little bit of a slant here and just make sure that we've got a few little routes on the inside. We'll go to Josh Wiley. He needs to turn up and make a man miss. We're going for it here might say this is kind of insane and i might say the same fucking thing but you know what we've got balls and it's going to be right at deforest buckner and it's going to be spears up the inside give it to him give it to him here it looks like they will 
they do give it to us this one might be reviewed it'll be the end of the first quarter and i want to do whatever we can to get away from deforest buckner he has not been fun to deal with so if it includes running away from the spot that's the obviously the way to go um we're gonna run away from it anyways so do with that as you will i don't think that we are you know at liberty to just start running the ball and this one gonna be another miss pass underneath that's two in a row i think that Tannehill has missed, or maybe one. I can't remember. We'll go ahead and use this cool play right here to try to try to search our way back in this one. And, um, you know, doing that will require a DeAndre Hopkins good timed route, but not happening. Ryan Tannehill can't throw for shit right now. He kind of sucks. We, we found uh, what works with him, and then his noodle arm just came out all of a sudden. So it is what it is. We'll try to put up three, though. This one is up, and this one is right down the middle. It'll be 10 to 7. Sucks to not cash in for 6 on that one. We'll have to deal with it, though. And Michael Pittman today on 5 targets has caught 4 of them. 101 yards and a touchdown. Is that even worth mentioning to an already ass, probably bottom defensive team in the league? Is we've probably, not probably, we've definitely let up the most points in the league. And it's not even going to be close and it is a good tackle by campbell there's a strong chance this is a run and we just had a false start there by number 93 oh my fucking god is that tier tarps if it is i feel so bad for you my friend you are on your last string with the head coach it is tier tart on the jump i wanted to go ahead and pinch the line and he said jump okay incomplete pass on the first down and what are you doing as he's al shair uh, it was an incomplete pass on first down, and then second and ten, they cash in for the first down with Aziz Alshair, quite literally stopping just to make sure he does not intercept that pass. A little unfortunate, but we'll have good old Campbell, who can't make it, and that's what I'm saying. How, like, what, what, how, <laughs> this one is going to be outside. Good tackling there by Caleb Farley, and I believe Sean Murphy Bunting involved as well. And now we will line up over here. I'm going to take Campbell up immediately. We just need that extra, you know, we just need him to be there. This one is going to be thrown out of bounds, third and eight. This one to the end zone to a wide open number six. No one seemed to be on Isaiah McKenzie there. And this one's just overthrown. A little excited. A little couldn't believe he was so open from Gardner Minshew to miss that one. And Aziz Alshire is going to try to make the kicker miss this one this is one's gonna be up and this one will be right down the middle we'll be tied at 10 we'll get the ball with six minutes to go we received second half kickoff by the way in case anyone forgot the blockers have not been there on the returns as uh as we speak here we will just run with ryan tano never mind quitty pay is athlete of the year flying across the field faster than the former wide receiver ryan Tannehill. win realistically He's not making that play in real life. I don't give a shit who you are, where you're from, or what you are doing. That's just not happening. Can we get a block by Chigakonkwo? We can on Julius Brents there. It won't matter. I'm just going to run out of bounds anyways. Derrick Henry on a gain of five in the first one. I'm so scared running at DeForest Buckner here. Doesn't matter. Grover Stewart is actually five times better than he is. Doesn't need inside stuff to do anything. We will go play action, and DeForest Buckner will... Uh, this one will be tough. We're just going to go Wiley and make sure he brings that one in. Wiley's playing a good game today. I know it's two catches, but he's gone open. At, oh, three catches. My bad. So he's actually rolling right now. And this one will be out to Chigakonkwa, who struggles to get upfield. Takes him a whole two and a half seconds to angle himself correctly to move up the field. Tyje Spears will come in now on a little trap play that might help with DeForest Buckner, but it also might just blow up in our face. We'll see when Nicholas Petit Freyer, who's suspended, is going to come in as our third tight end. And we have struggled to run the ball more than we have all season long, and it is thanks to this man right here. DeForest Buckner is pretty much single handedly putting our running backs in the ground consistently. Therefore, we will go play action once again, and this just seems to be where guys are getting open. And this one is up to Traylon Burks. I'm not going to lie to you. I just pressed a freaking button on my controller. And we got Kyle Phillips crossing the field trying to make a man miss. Julian Blackman will be able to crash down on that one. We will go hurry up. We'll move into a faster looking one right here. We'll go RPO. And we'll see. Give it out to Kyle Phillips in space. Jukes back inside. 
And we've given a lot of opportunities to Kyle Phillips in space like that, and he's made them work. We had a jailbreak uh, wide receiver screen earlier that helped, and he was just really good on. But it is 10 to 10. Two minutes to go in the first half. Tennessee Titans knocking on the door on the 11 yard line looking for a touchdown i want ty j on a little bit of a hitch that way he can uh kind of take away some of that attention this one's gonna be picked off no it's not oh my goodness damian wilson sucks ass we've set up an interesting play on this one I don't know what we're gonna do we're just gonna throw it away um the forest buckner was there we'll really have to settle for another field goal in this situation which honestly sucks but caleb shudak our kicker has been uh really solid to this point so to his own credit this one will be up and this one will be good straight down the middle once again 13 to 10 we'll give the 10 or not the tennessee we'll give the indianapolis colts some time on the clock and the possession of the ball we basically got um <laughs> roger mccreary rotating up to safety this one this one looked like a fr okay no way what is this game right now can we we can't even dive after his feet you gotta be fucking joking i'm more pissed than you guys know but i'm trying not to yell in a bright spot all year has been our returner reggie robertson who just gets up to the 25 blockers really haven't been doing him many favors this game so it does kind of suck we'll try spheres on a little bit of a, a screen right here i feel like it may be an unexpected play so we will try that we can't get it out in time this game's ass this game is ass this game is so bad i don't even want to keep playing but you know what we're gonna have to ryan Tannehill up the sideline he's gonna have quite a bit of yardage and kyle phillips our utility slot man has gone down he will need a replacement a little unfortunate as kyle phillips goes out um i really like him i'm not gonna lie he's very very good and uh has been having quite the game today despite what you know what numbers may or may not tell you it might not look like too big of a game but trust me he was having a good game and so is this man right here Tajay Spears cutting loose getting downfield and this big time offense is showing what's up we've been throwing all game and it's been working all game that almost interception last time out almost cost us but Tajay on the reception right there is very good and we will scramble i was gonna say ramble with ryan Tannehill. and this one's gonna be picked off this time just an inaccurate delivery to the tight end josh wiley who's gonna be wide open but andrew van Gittle had other plans and so did ryan Tannehill's fucking noodle arm that can't deliver a freaking pack of ramen without dropping it walking two feet from the kitchen to the kids tables he can't even service to his own kids his arms are that bad Holy shit, I don't care if that was the worst thing you guys have heard ever. It's not even a joke. It's just the worst analogy, story, bullshit thing you've heard all day. It is arguably one of the worst things, like, most lost things I've ever said in my life. I don't even know why I'm still talking. Eight seconds left. We're going to have to play very, very high safety with Aziz Al Shire. And this one is good to Josh Downs. And this one will be game over. Psych, half over. I wish it was the game, but nope. Still got a whole other half to play. Let me know if you guys like the halftime report. Here it is. Atlanta, down in Atlanta. We'll have Desmond Ritter. Bijan's kind of eating it up, I guess. CJ Stroud, we cannot see his numbers. Uh, <laughs> he's definitely got numbers up on the board, but we just can't see him for whatever reason but we move to dc where justin fields seemed to be wow uh jacoby Brissett's having a great oh uh, had a great game fields kind of had a meh game uh brian robinson was all right curtis samuel was the washington commander's leading receiver and that one it looks like a pretty defensive uh one for what in the world are we doing over here as josh allen has shown exactly what he's here for and gabe davis with perhaps the biggest receiving season or, or receiving game i've seen all season or madden long even so back to this one though and we'll come out and we will have literally no momentum which is probably the stupidest thing i've seen into force buckners in the backfield quicker than i can say quick we were doing so good but now we are going to try a little wide receiver screen of ours and this one's going to be blocked well um not well enough we need a better receiver than Kyle Phillips to be on that play, but he had daylight. God damn it, dude. Oh, that's so painful. We were doing so well. 
tides have turned and now we suck once again and our defense is probably just going to let up another 19 touchdowns before the end of this one let's ramp up the pressure here on this team as they're going to try to run outside it's not going to work we are bringing a little bit more than usual jonathan taylor's been like i said minimized today and now we will work the rest of the game trying to find a solution for the passing game and gardner Minshew, Minshew, the Minshew magic and he'll throw it away it'll be third and nine situation knowing them this will be a next touchdown or this next play will be a touchdown i'm just saying if i know anything about this game it's they're gonna score and they're gonna have a good time and they're gonna get the first down it's a guarantee every fucking time there's nothing you can do to fix it this one I mean, for, for whatever reason, number 86, Will Mallory, gets to live basically by himself on the right side of the field with nobody accompanying him as he can move butt naked, wide open, not covered at all. It's that annoying. Gardner Minshew will run a read option on us, and I'm going to have literally a mental breakdown on camera on, on record. It, it's so bad and Campbell gonna have to work outside for this one trying to get in Jonathan Taylor's way after he runs pretty much around the whole entire world and for some reason they can get pressure immediately on us and we can't on them I understand sliders are a thing but they really aren't that different therefore we should see some sort of reluctancy from our defense but would it ever happen no and Roger McCree is out here playing two touch football he's putting hands on him and then letting him go gracefully we need a big play from our defense here and it's gonna be Campbell why are you oh damn it dude how does that even happen we had that bottle then all of a sudden Gardner Minshew targets his man is the smartest and becomes the most Patrick Mahomes player throws it just behind the linebacker up a little bit McKenzie was already on the up route here like whoa like you've got to be absolutely joking and jerking me off you're joking oh reggie robertson no he gets tripped up from behind he had an opening that would have been very good but i'm sure you guys can imagine my frustration as chica conquo now will leave the game how is deforest buckner gonna make a play on this one i have a feeling it'll be in a big way and there he is once again in the backfield and um really don't know what to say here Holy shit, we're ass. Let's go ahead and see what DeAndre Hopkins can do on the out route. That was pretty much my, my preconceived notion as Traylon Burks will have one underneath. We'll go hurry up. I really don't know which other way to live by now. We'll go Tajay Spears on a little bit of a screen action. Gets a block. Heads up field. Tries to get around. Julius Brents can't quite get there. Tajay Spears has been pretty big and good in the pass game today in his uh minimal opportunities three catches so far today but has been really good on them we've seen quite exceptional stuff out of our offense today and i mean i'm gonna have to throw this one away i saw Traylon burks but it was just a little too late i don't trust ryan Tannehill's arm to make any sort of play remotely close to being able to complete that i don't know what we'll do here but i'm sure we'll find some sort of open opportunity and yes, Kyle Phillips, what are you doing, Kyle? Kyle, 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 Kyle. Kyle, what are you doing, Kyle? What are we doing, white boy? Get off the fucking field. You're not even suited up to be here. Jesus, what are you doing in the NFL, my guy? Get out. And Ashton Doolin will have a huge return here. Holy hell. Mm -hmm. Settle down. Got to be a little bit better in this that sort of situation mentally. And, um,. Keep composure, if you will. I'm sure this will be a 90-yard run. No? Wow, that's kind of surprising for the first time in a while. We're just going to have to, um, yeah, get bitched. Nope, 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 nope. How? What, what, what are we doing here? Roger McCreary. Roger, well, we, we, what are we doing? Can, can you explain that to me? Explain this to me, dumbass. What are you doing, dumbass? I have full user control of Roger McCreary at this point. Boom. This is a tackle. This right here, McCreary vs. Minshew. What, what, what are we doing? What, what, what is that? What, 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 huh? What? I, don't, I can't live like this. I can't. This is ridiculous. Third and seven here. I'm 110% sure this will be a first down. Why are you giving Kevin Byer there? He might be like the closest guy, maybe. Like that's debatable itself, but two yard line. 
uh, just cut to when they score. And Jonathan Taylor, touchdown, the very next play. And let's watch DeForest Buckner make yet again another very, very impressive play. As no, we finally has a, have a running back that can outrun him. Our running backs have been a zero factor in this game. I'm not going to say non-factor. They've been a zero factor in this game uh, just due to the DeForest Buckner player that is on the opposing team and Kyle Phillips is really just doing the job right now I don't know what's going on with him but we have finally knocked them out of full momentum and I don't care how many passing yards we've allowed Kyle Phillips has had a breakout game in my eyes at this point in time I'm gonna call this a breakout game we don't see stuff like this and yes we have Chigazim Okonkwo uh, coming back if you will so Grover Stewart how are you doing that how are you what are you how, hmm? how are you in the play there go back and watch that if you are confused but we're gonna target our running back who just stops in the middle of his route for fun for funsies you know we've got curls concept on the field at all costs at this point we'll roll out we will have a lane with Ryan Tannehill and DeAndre Hopkins does a good job to open that up for us as well as ryan Tannehill has really been our uh premier rusher so really good to see him doing uh what he needs to do we might even target chickaconqua on this one we'll see where that safety is playing by the end of the the play or by the time chickaconqua can get up there and this one's going to be a pick yep i can call that shit coming from a mile away the second that there's play or not play pass interference and now we have jonathan taylor on another 10 plus yarder momentum is completely swung again but the second that there's pass interference on a play, you can already tell that it, yeah, it, it will be. Watch, it, it will be an interception. And there was indeed Jeffrey Simmons getting into the backfield, making a good tackle. I feel like knowing that we have a chance makes games a little bit more stressful. But now that we know we're pretty much done and out of it, uh, it makes me feel a hell of a lot better. But we're just going to have to try to stop the run and the pass as Chance Campbell will be in the backfield making it third and 19 don't worry they will still convert and this one is a run and very well stopped from behind who is that wiggling off the line is that even rashad weaver yeah it was who did a great job getting there earlier than many others and we will see a surprise next time we are out on offense i'm sure you guys know who it is he's been good for us so far and he might even see a start uh by the time we see this sort of uh, thing next year or next week um Kyle Van Noy is injured. Very nice. Very good. We're starting to finally play a little dirty. We need to do that a lot earlier. Injury timeout will have his ass. Um, here, Will Levis will step out on the field. We'll see what we can do with him. I don't really expect much of a, a change. But let's just go. Let's make a play with our best receiver underneath on a little five-yard dump down. We're going to have to move up. We're going to have to move faster. We'll use spacing. You know, this play seems to be working you know decently sometimes we'll roll out once again and once again we'll try to get it to our best receiver i stopped i wasn't even running at the point of uh you know that throw there it is what it is obviously nothing i can do to stop that um yeah i'm pretty fed up if you guys can't tell at this point let's see what we can do uh, offensively here this is pass interference and it's going to be another interception i'm going to kill myself at this moment in time We'll see Kenny Moore break a tackle from an offensive lineman. Get out. Uh, Aaron Brewer finally makes its fucking tackle, but I can't believe this fucking game is even existing right now. I'm going to smack my head so fucking hard into this. So here we are, right here. It's It might be offensively, but I believe... Yeah, okay, this is totally offensively. Um, so thanks to Play Design and Madden, EA24. Um, if you guys are curious, yeah, that kind of hurt just a little bit, though. I don't know. We might see a mark by the end of this video. Um, yeah, it's just going to be picked off every time, so... Good job, Kyle Phillips, getting in the fucking way. Like I said, what are you even doing in the NFL? You're not even the right, uh, in the right category or criteria here. And we we played perfect defense on that one. Just couldn't get pressure. Gardner Minshew has only missed seven passes, three touchdowns, over 300 yards on just 20 completions. So we've held them to a minimum this year. We've seen a lot worse so far. Um, you know, we really haven't been doing too much as i'm trying to get off the block with uh campbell but you just can't fucking tell because this game's ass as he's al shire will try to come in and make some sort of impact and can't it'll be a jonathan taylor up oh, i'll just cut to the touchdown what are we doing wasting your time and touchdown jonathan taylor and will levis after the interception that was not his fault we'll come back out onto the field and we'll see what he can do uh misses wiley on that one this has been the negative effect of 
what we like to call momentum aka bullshit in this game um it's just ridiculous i mean no really other way to put it as we will try to run except he hasn't got wheels and kyle van Noy is already back in the game this man was resurrected from wherever the hell he went uh in record time we'll try to screen with a ty j spears on this one i don't know you know how much it's really gonna matter if we can't get the fucking ball out in time because there's no words that can even express how just bullshit this game is in general. I have so many complaints. I can actually end up making an hour-long plus video on everything wrong with EA Man 24, part one of five. And miss pass from Will Levis. Best fucking player this t Tennessee Titans franchise has ever seen. Let's be honest. Here. This is... Um, been so far one of the best offensive performances we've seen all season long we started off so fucking hot just to cool down to antarctica temperature if you will this is getting absolutely fucking ridiculous i don't know what i'm still doing alive right now i should probably super sim and perhaps do a little something that might be a little graphic to say on a video and this one will end and we will lose and we will uh, dwell on this, and I will have no vocal cards after today. Uh, it would really suck if I was actually doing two episodes today, but instead I'm only doing one. There is a reason for a reason for my low patience today. I'm dealing with kind of like a flu thing going around. Uh, I'm sleep deprived like crazy this last couple of uh, weeks. It is what it is. I can't really. Uh, I don't really want to say all that or get into that at all and that's not what this is about ryan Tannehill started off so promising and then finished the game like his grandpa would be if he was in the pocket going 18 of 30 271 two ints no touchdowns ty j spears was not good derrick henry was even worse getting zero yards through six carries receiving though we saw a great game from kyle phillips i'd rather not comment on the michael Pittman game but kyle phillips went five for 62 was our featured receiver i guess you could say had a few design plays to go straight to him ty j was also really good when he was able to catch the ball on these screens when he wasn't stopping and uh being behind the play at least two minutes it took for him to turn around and make sure that he can make a play with the screen i hate throwing those early and they just go to the ground but i guess it's better than resulting in a fucking sack Traylon burks was really good had a few really like deep plays and got him uh, his number's up pretty pretty far. Three receptions, 85. Josh Wiley, like I said, had a really good game. Like, from his perspective, he's a tight end, too. Should have go out there and get three opportunities and 30 yards. It's in bad. DeAndre Hopkins was two for 30. Kind of held to a minimum. Chica Conquo had an okay game. And Trevon Wesco, the third string tight end, had some chance. Or had some yards. Chance Campbell. Um, was okay as he's Alshire was even better TFLs when you want to get into that Jeffrey Simmons was our better guy Danico Autry was in the backfield Aziz Alshire then we already mentioned Chance Campbell with the only sack today as well interceptions we didn't get any but we definitely got intercepted another tough loss in the books and honestly I'm not gonna say that there's nothing we can do about it but it's just not fun to deal with there is stuff we can do about it but in the moment you get so heated you get so mad you just don't like it and it just spirals out of control you don't really try too hard and it just gets out of control so there's definitely stuff we can do to be better and that is stay in the game a little bit we'll have a very very tough matchup against the baltimore ravens and then we'll move to the bye week and then we'll have the falcons coming up as well it's jonathan taylor we held him kind of to uh to a minimal if you will so that was good to see we'll look at the whole stats and awards for the the season for the team for uh for everybody around the league as will levis here is uh not likely but he's got a chance soon to start you know if he starts to to really kick it up but jordan love third in the league it's very good to see passing touchdowns we got a couple of these guys up here that are Doing pretty good. Deshaun Watson and Tannehill and Jared Goofball all lead the league in interceptions through the first few weeks, which is kind of good to see. Rushing-wise, though, I know that we kind of had a leg in the race, but with a horrible game from Derrick Henry, we kind of take ourselves out. Um, you know, it is what it is. Eight For Nick Chubb, though, eight touchdowns is pretty crazy. So, a little interesting. Defensively, are we still there with Aziz Alshire? We are. We are are tied actually between aziz roe and ryan 
So I don't know. Uh, it's been an interesting move and a move, uh, interesting season and moving forward. I'm sure it'll only get more interesting. So that'll be it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do consider leaving a like and subscribing, it'd help out a lot and go back and watch any of my past content. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. And that'll be all for me. Thank you guys for watching. Deuces.